What's up, guys? So, yeah, it's been a while. Um, let's just jump right into it, right? I feel like I do too many of these videos where I start off trying to give you some explanation or some apology. You don't care. You don't give a shit about my apology. I, I do apologize, but you don't care, so I'm not going to waste your time. Um, yeah, so the update is going to be happening tonight, a little bit later. It's not going to be the full update. I've actually decided to split the update into two halves um, because there's just a lot to do. The problem, really, with this update stems from the fact that I wanted to do too much. So, with the last city update, the first one we ever did, the first city rework, if you will, was technically to the Tazar city. And what was added with that was the rework of Inferno. I think I changed the Tuckle fishing. I think that was improved a little bit. More experience, more Tuckle. Um, and then a new monster was created, Tazar champion. So, there's really just those three things. And I felt like that wasn't enough. Like, how many people actually go to Tazar? I mean, there's, there's few people on Ryan right now. 17, so I'm sure no one is there. But even if there was 50, I don't think anyone would be at the Dazar City, with the exception of people trying to do Fire Cape. So, with this update, I wanted to... Or not Fire Cape, Infernal Cape. But with this update, I wanted to really, like, make a city and have there to be a ton of things. So, this is sort of the map I, I laid out day one. I think I've posted this before in, this, in Discord. Um, you can also look at it here. So, I, I just... I, I wanted to do a lot. And the problem with wanting to do a lot and being a one-man show is you just, just just can't do it. I can't pull it off. So I decided to split the update in half, um, and we're going to release the first half of that later tonight. Uh, it's mostly going to be the Gatekeeper boss, uh, Shaler Slayer Master, Cosmic Altar. That's simple. Mythical Dragons. I, mean, I wanted to redo their drops. That'll probably happen. I think I'll have enough time to, to finish that all together. So there's that. Evil Chickens. I, I, I have a bigger plan for that. So I don't want to rush that by releasing it this time. So that'll probably be the second bit. Otherworldly beings are in this bit. Fair shifts in this bit. Um, really, the main thing that will be in the second half is Pearl Pearl, Evil Chickens. The training ground will probably be improved in the second half. Some of those things. But the other half, the other bits, will be in this update tonight. But the main reason I'm making this video isn't so much for this update. It's really just the thoughts on revival and, and sort of where we're at. So I've spent the last... Which, um, 30, 40 minutes just talking to the game. I will scroll up all the way in my chat. You can see the messages. If you really want to like scroll through and read what we were talking about, have at it. Um, I really honestly should have just made this into a video because more people would have had their ability to put their you know responses in and whatnot. That's kind of why I decided to make this right now. But we're just trying to figure out what to do with the server. And uh, the honest, the honest, the, like honestly, right now it's just me running the show. I'm working on coding it, working on trying to make videos because that's what's going to get people interested. It's just, it's just, there's, there's, there's really no quick solution. It's just going to be a shit show for a long time, and hopefully with enough updates and enough, you know, love, we'll, we'll, we'll get back up there. But there's really no, there's no end in sight. That's what I'm trying to say. It's going to get worse before it gets better, I think. And I've been saying that for a while, and it's, it's still in the process of. Of maybe getting worse. Like I said, I did say that though. I, I, I recall when we had like 50 players, I said it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. And with 17 players, it definitely got worse before it got, before it, I mean, hopefully it does get better. I believe that. I believe, from from what I've seen on this server, it's, it, we've, we've been low, we've been high, we've been low, we've been high. Uh, it really just comes down to updates. People will try to like, oh, oh the eco's bad. This is bad. The game's bad. We got, DC issues. Yeah, all of those things definitely factor into it. But if you update the server, people will play. If there's new things to check out, if there's new content to look into, people will play. Without updates, nothing's going to happen. If we eco reset, for example, maybe there'd be, I mean, there'd be the same amount of people, maybe. Maybe even different ones because these people have quit and new people have joined. I don't know. Either way, we'd be at the exact same player count. And it wouldn't improve until we did more updates. So I know that that's the key. Updates is, is that's like the only thing I can do. I can make a, I can make videos, but I just don't think the videos are good enough. I mean, uh, uh, give me your opinion. Would you rather see like good videos or would you rather see updates? I, I imagine every single person would rather have updates than videos, and the two of them definitely conflict. Because anytime I'm taking coding or anytime I'm taking making uh, anytime I'm making videos or talking to people, I'm not coding. We we had a staff meeting earlier. And one of the things that was brought up was not me not playing. And my reason for it, well, let me see if I can find it. So I'm going to give you word for it. I don't want to look at that meeting chat. But it, it really just comes from, like, if I'm, when I'm online, I get a lot of PMs. I get I want people want to talk to me. And I don't, I don't like ignoring people. 
I hate well, like when I I, I like I code the server based on what I liked as a player. And back in the day, whenever I would talk to like you, you just never knew the owner. No, the owner never even had an identity, and I feel like most servers probably have that nowadays. But I always wanted to talk to people. That was the, I mean, like that's. I think the interaction with the players is the whole reason to do it, right? Because I've said before, the money isn't the motivation for for making this server. It was to have fun, good times, and really it was called revival because we wanted to revive our, our SPS careers. That necessarily hasn't happened. Maybe maybe for me, not so much for for John, just because he he got he took his job and, and wasn't really able to do anything. But uh, it's just kind of hard sometimes. And the reason that I can't play all the time is because any time that I'm taking pl playing. I can't, like, code at the same time. Now, I have the coding supplies always open. I hope I'm not showing anything bad here. I don't think so. You're fine. I always have the coding stuff open. Even when I'm playing, like, RuneScape 3 or if I'm playing, like, Fortnite or something stupid. Whatever, whatever, regardless. This, this The files are always open on my computer pretty much 24-7. I'm always thinking about ideas. I'm always... Oh, that's the VPS. Am I showing anything bad here? I like how I'm spending, like, an ample amount of time staring at it. Like, if there was anything bad, you're seeing it for sure. Nah, but my point is that there's always I'm always working on things, but anytime I'm taking to talk to people and answer questions and deal with account recovery anything like that is time I'm not coding. So on a, right now on a day where the update's already so, so just 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 fucking like I don't even know how how delayed we are at this point. Uh, it's 18th of January. I don't think we had an update in January, so eight, 18 days possibly. And it's not going to get better. We're talking to people, but at the same time, I've had really good conversations with everybody. We've we've talked a lot, and I would hope that most of the people that I talk to would have a better opinion of the server, a better opinion of, of what we're trying to do. I don't know. So it's it's hard to be an, an owner to have to do everything, and that's really my fault because as as I've talked about, you know, people always suggest bring on another developer, bring on another developer. Bring on another developer. Where's Dark? Where's Lazo? Where's John? Where's whoever? Bring on another developer. It's not as simple as just giving a guy money to do work. If it was that simple, we'd do that. We've, we've attempted that. Every time we've ever paid for services, that has, has not worked out. Their services literally did nothing. Like, we've, I think we've spent, like, I don't remember the last time. We, we've, we've done it multiple times throughout the period of Dark Asylum and Revival. Because if you remember, Revival is based on Dark Asylum. As we tried to pay for help, and none of that those client it was it was all it's all the same thing. There's things we can't fix. Clients, client issues. If you've played Revival, you'll probably know that the client is not good. There's a lot of issues with memory leaks, and you'll just DC randomly. Just home will know randomly. There's just a ton of issues, and we've been trying to fix those since day one on Dark Asylum, and they've never been fixed. We've tried paying for them. We've tried doing our own things. We've tried rewriting code. It just it, it has never happened. It's never happened. And a good part of why we don't have another developer right now is the fact that I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not willing to, 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 to work with anyone. If you're unfamiliar with what happened with Dark Asylum, I will give you, I've talked about it a jillion times. And I hate, I, I hate talking about it because why well, talk about, you know, bad memories? Ooh, fuck them. But on Dark Asylum, the server ended, be, uh, it really just ended because... Uh, I'll, I'll admit the server lost a bunch of players, and I—I I, I guess I was just unequipped with the. I, I, I suppose I just gave up too early. I think that's really the easiest way to, to, to simplify it because the similar things have happened on revival, but because I didn't give up, we've been able to recover. So had I not given up on Dark Asylum, like, we probably would have been fine. But I guess hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, so we gave up, and the other developers, uh, Aki and Alex, I think he goes by Goten. They wanted to, I think, I think, it, I don't know which ones, they, they lied constantly. He's the kind of person who would like, you know, like how Trump will just lie about something stupid and obvious. And, and you're like, why would you lie about that? We can easily, easily prove you wrong. That's the kind of liar he was. Like he would lie. Like I could just be like, what, what color is the sky? And he'd be like, it's green. Just for no, like for no reason. There's no benefit to him. He'll just lie because that's what he likes to do. So I don't know who started it. I really don't care. One of them tried to sell it, and they either did sell it and that person leaked it, or they couldn't sell it, so they just decided to leak it. But they released all of Dark Asylum's files on Rune Server. I, I'm sure, I'm sure you can find them. That's you. But ever since that happened, I've been really like against hiring outside help. I, because I, I don't want to, you know, it, 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 the, the, the code is one thing. Like I care a lot about the code, even if you, even if it's not good. Even if, you know, even if it's trash code and none of it's worth anything, anybody could do it. 
I still care about it. I put the hard work into it. You know, I've, I've, it's, it's my code. I want to keep it. That's one thing. But player accounts, your passwords and stuff, that's a completely other issue. I'm at this, like, after after experiencing that on Dark Asylum, I'm unwilling to ever experience that again. So I can't, like, if I can't trust a developer, how am I going to hire them? You know, how, how can they do any work? And sure, I could send them file by file that doesn't include a bunch of really important information. But in, the problems we have, client side and whatnot, they, they need everything. And the, the real answer is I, I, I have no clue who I would even go about contacting. I'd have to go to root server and just completely trust that whoever I'm talking to is not one going to take the money and run, but two, like, they even know what they're doing or they're actually going to do any work. Because like I said, every time we've ever purchased outside help, it's not worked out. The code just, they just, they just, they just they, I, said, I assume they were just lying. I don't know if they did anything and they didn't do anything. I have no clue because for the most part, you know, Dark would handle it. And I'm not I'm accusing him. I'm just saying like they would, they just, they, why, why, you know what I mean? They're just lying to get money. Why wouldn't they lie? Oh, some dude's going to give me a hundred dollars if, if I pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Sure. I'll take a free hundred dollars. I, I, so it's just one of those things where I'm, 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 I'm really unwilling to let, to trust someone that I don't know. So it's a one man show. It's going to be a, sh one, a one man shit show for a very long time. That's just kind of the life we're, we're living. Um, so, Woody, and I don't think he'll care that I'm saying his name here, has been pretty pro eco reset. And we've had this conversation plenty of times about he wants to do an eco reset. And there's a couple other people, like the, the conversation I had, most of those people um, were pro eco reset. I'm not, I don't really know who's, who stands aware. But the point is. Woody was a pretty big proponent, and every time he would ask about Eco Reset, I would immediately shut him down. I said, it's suicide, it's essentially killing yourself, there's, there's zero benefit, a million negatives. All of the benefits you think might happen from it, they're not. They're not benefits. There's going to be more problems that outweigh those any, any possibilities. That's my opinion, and I've shut him down every single time, and there's never even been a discussion about it, because I refuse to discuss an Eco Reset. Because in my opinion, it's not even an option. Is killing yourself an option? In my opinion, it's not like it's it's the final option. Like you can't, you're not gonna. If you're not gonna make any decisions after one decision, then I don't. You know, is that really a decision? I feel like that's something completely different. I feel like killing ourselves is not an option. So I've always immediately dismissed it. But at the same time, I think I've I've talked about how I don't want to be a dictator. I don't want to run this just like I'm the owner. It's my way or the highway. I don't like running the way the, the server this way because a lot of my opinions, a lot of people might not like. Especially when it comes to gambling, but I don't care. Fuck you guys. Gambling's never happening. If you like gambling, I, I apologize, but play a different server. The server isn't for you. We're not going to have gambling. Anyways. <laughs> so I've dismissed the idea of an eco reset every single time. And this last time, he was pushing really hard. And I felt bad because I, I started realizing, okay, well, I'm pulling, my, I'm, I'm pulling the big di you know, dictator move. So, poll. I figured we'll make a poll and we'll gather everyone's opinions. Don't panic. I know people like to panic when they, when they even like think when they even when they even see the word e o and c and like in the same sentence they they immediately start panicking. But um, there's a poll. It has been posted with the. It's, I think um, pretty much just everybody in game and on the Discord has voted so far. These are the way the results are at the moment. Make sure you give your opinion. Please give your honest opinion. Don't just vote no because. I'm voting no, and or you don't really care. And if you don't play the server, you, there's an I don't care option. Well, obviously, if you don't want. I mean, if you don't really care. I, the reason I added the I don't care option is because if you're willing to take the time to vote, and you still vote I don't care, I'm, I'm sort of, in my head, I'm taking that as a vote for both sides. You don't really care if, if an equal reset does happen, and you don't care if it doesn't. So that's so, you know, there's an option for everybody. Please just give your complete honest option, or your uh, honest opinion. And there's multiple, uh, uh, you know, there's multiple options. Keep keep stats, reset items, um, do you know complete full reset or no, no I'll quit. No, I'll be super mad. The reason this is added is just because it's not like a, I, it's sort of a joke, but at the same time, it, like I feel like a lot of the people who are not gonna play like because like one issue that brought, gets brought up a lot is okay. Well, why why should people not playing the server have an opinion? Okay, for one, there's twenty thousand accounts. Do we have twenty thousand people playing? No, we don't. We have 15 people playing. So should 15 people get to decide what happens to 20,000 accounts? I don't think they should. I think everyone should have an opinion. And a lot of people who, like if you, I assume this video will get 200 views. I, I would think 200 is a pretty respectable number for the video. We're not going to have 200 people playing. Those are people that either have played in the past or just kind of like the videos and might, might play in the future. Who knows? 
they should definitely have an opinion, and I value their opinion the same as someone who's currently online right now. Because it doesn't just affect you. There's 20,000 accounts that it's going to affect. So I want to get anyone and everyone's opinion before any decisions are made. And I'm not just going to... Like if, for example, right now, technically, this option is winning, but it's the same exact votes as this next option. So they're tied votes. And if you look at the total votes between yes and no, it's more no than yes. Uh, and the reason I say that is because just because the votes go one way doesn't mean that's exactly what's going to happen. And even if it means, if even if a full reset does win, doesn't mean we're going to reset. And if a full, you know, don't reset wins, doesn't mean we're not going to re reset. This is just to gather. We just, I just want to know what you guys think about on the subject. That's what, that's what this is about. So if you have an opinion, uh, please vote on the poll below. Um, and the, and Another thing to consider is is Dark's opinion on the subject. So we were having this debate in the staff chat about the eco reset, and I'm against it. There, most people in the staff chat were pro or, or for it. Dark chimed in with with his thoughts, and Dark wants to. He doesn't think a lot of those those big issues that I was talking about, the client issues and stuff. I don't think he thinks that they're fixable. Definitely not with you know by him or myself, because if they were, we would have done them. Um, and he doesn't think that there's going to be enough outside help. To I just I, I think he just doesn't think that there's a person available for it, and I understand that he would know more than I would. He's definitely a, a better developer, um, and in his opinion, we should scrap the source. He wants to just go to a completely new source that doesn't have as many issues, and with that, we'll lose everything. Your accounts will be, will be gone, all of the content invention is gone. God Wars Two is gone. Everything's gone. We'd be completely starting over. Now he wants to. Now he says we can add it all back. And that's true. We have a template for adding it back. It wouldn't be as hard as coding it from scratch. We would be able to copy and paste a fair bit of it. So those big things we could get, like invention, would probably be one we, we might want to keep. I don't know. My, my problem with that logic is if we're going to start new, I'd rather just go new. I'd rather just have a completely different name for the server and do a server and do completely different ideas. I don't know, maybe make a mainstream one that has gambling and it's just... A complete ripoff of other servers. Just, I, I, you know what I mean? Like that's. I don't want to do that. I don't. I, I, I'm not in this for the money. I don't want to just make an old, old school clone, call, download. I don't. I don't know what what sources are even available. I haven't looked in ages. But I know back in the day it was OS, OSRS PVP. Everyone would just download that, change the name of the server, and release it as is because it's an old school server. And a lot of those people that play old school servers wouldn't wouldn't know or wouldn't care. I don't want to do that. What's the point of doing that? And even if we didn't do that, we we decide to go. The revival route where we do our own unique updates. That's the way. That's that's the way I'm going to do it, no matter what. Regardless of what scenario happens, that's the way I would want to do it. But like, you know what I mean? Like, if we're starting new, I don't want to just redo the same crappy ideas. I'd rather just do completely new stuff. And I have no ideas for a server that would be new. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm against that idea. Dark is really pro it because it'll fix a lot of those main issues, and I understand that those issues suck. It's just, in my opinion, I don't think that that stops people from playing the server. I think it really depends because, like, it, the client affects some people more than others. On the last, on my last computer, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's CPU or what. It's, it uses too much of something. I can't remember. I think it's CPU. But whenever I opened up a browser or, or essentially just clicked off the tab, I would DC. And there's a lot of people that probably still play this that that affects them. And I can understand not playing that server. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play Revival. If I couldn't AFK something else at the same time without DCing, I wouldn't play it. So I understand that if we can never fix that issue, maybe it's worth it to just scrap it and go somewhere new. But we've put a year and a half worth of effort into Revival. And I just uh, I just have a hard time. I know he says we can redo everything, but I just... I feel like if we're in that situation, I don't want to redo everything. But I also don't want to start new, so that's why I'm against that idea. But I'm presenting that as an option because, like, I like you know, that it will have the massive benefits of having a cleaner client. One thing is, a lot of people will say, "Why doesn't this look like old school?" It, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we would get a better client, with, which would look more like old school. Look at that; it would look exactly like old school. Um, that could, you know, that there's a lot of people that would appeal to. If you have an opinion, please give it to me. Um, you know, like I say, I, I, I don't want to run this as a dictator. I don't want to just have my own opinion and roll with it because not everyone's going to like that. Not everyone's going to want to want that. And I, I, I want I want everyone to have played Revival to be able to have a legitimate opinion on what they think we should do. And I don't I don't want to just like say that and then not do anything with their opinion. But, you know, it starts it all starts with just giving us your opinion. So please do. Um, 
like I said, there will be an update later tonight. It's probably gonna be super late at night. I, I I'm I'm nocturnal at this point. Like when I wake up, it's like midday, and I'll go to bed at like three, four, or five a.m. So it'll be around that time. I, it really doesn't matter at this point because I mean, home is knowing right now, and I and there's just I <laughs> there's so many potential issues, and a lot of it is all client sided, which we'll never be able to fix. So maybe going to a new source is an option. I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I'm not quitting revival. I I'm not. I've not lost. I I I. I, I I was gonna say I haven't lost interest, but that's 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 an understatement. It's bur burnout is real. It affects everyone, even the owner of the server. If you look at a lot of other servers, they don't play. They probably, I mean, like they probably just don't even play RuneScape. They probably just want the money. But the point I'm trying to make is that it happens. Burnout is real, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie or pretend. I don't. I don't. I don't want to lie. I, I, I don't like lying. I'm an honest person. Maybe too honest sometimes. I don't know. I don't care. I feel like lying is just it's it, lying d delays <laughs> the progress of man. Imagine if we couldn't lie, how like pro how progressive we would be as a as a species. We'd have like hover cars and shit flying around. You know what I mean? Uh, not every uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna touch religion, but you know you know what I mean. Like every religion wouldn't exist if we couldn't lie. I'll say that much. There's no way that every religion is right at the same time, right? Especially if they contradict each other. So I don't like lying. I honestly. Uh, the burnout is definitely real. It's a one-man show. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's like I said. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Regardless of what we do, even if we do an eco reset, it's gonna get way worse before it gets better. That's why I'm against it because I don't think it's gonna help us. I think the eco problems are are not as big as everyone thinks they are. I feel like a lot of people just like when you have no updates and you've got nothing good, you sort of latch on to. You just you really just have your opinions and you just have the other people playing with you. You're talking to them, and I feel like it's easy to to blame the eco i feel like that's happened on every server i've ever played every every server every server i've coded every server i've ever played eco has always been one of those things where everyone talks about it, everyone obsesses about it i don't think it's as big of an issue like when people complain about something wrong quote unquote owning the eco i how, how is that a problem does does he does he make the price he because he can make prices go up then don't then don't like you know what i mean like he's only one person if you don't like his prices don't sell to him don't buy from him Go get the, the weapon yourself. Okay, well, that's not an eco because we have to earn things ourselves. Yeah, but anybody could do that. If it's not one person holding the eco, it's going to be another. Like, what's to stop someone from right now donating $10,000, buying everything from the shop, charging back immediately, putting it all on all, trying to hide it? I mean, I'd find it all eventually. But my point is, if someone really wanted to own the eco, they could. There's nothing to stop them. You could find a dupe. You, you Honestly, with this server, the way we've coded it, you could put a lot of effort into doing anything you could go do but you could i remember snom snom who was number one in the high scores just just spent an alt at bandits pretty much every day every day every day snom played he'd have an alt sitting at bandits if you put in the effort you could be rich so i, I feel like the ego problems can be they can be solved it's not like a, a you, we have to suicide and explode everything kill a server to, to solve them i feel like invention was designed to help. I think I think the key is really giving people a legitimate reason to want to disassemble items. We need to make the rewards really good, worthwhile. Um, that's hard to do. We definitely need some good ideas, but it's not impossible. And I, that's why that's one of the reasons why I don't think any code reset is necessary. But I want to hear you guys' opinions. Please give them to me below. This video has rambled on way too long. Well. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't want to lie and tell you there's going to be videos. I have some clips, but I don't think it's enough for a video. And what I just feel like a random video out of nowhere wouldn't help. Like, it, the videos need to come together, and there needs to be consistency with updates and everything. That's what's going to help. So I could just save the footage, the, the very minimal footage. I, I mean, I have. I mean, let's let's log on my other account. What's, what, what, uh, no, I guess I shouldn't. That's spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. I don't care. Who cares? No, I shouldn't show you. Never mind. If you don't want spoilers, look away. And if you do, if you don't care, then keep watching, I suppose. I think I'm at Bandits. Am I at Revs? I was doing Revs. I think they said the home is not. I mean, here's a, we're getting a live example of one of the possible reasons why, you know, we might we, why we might want to switch to a new source. I assume I'm logged out at home. I think that that's the problem. All right. Well, I guess I can't show you that. Maybe this affects your opinion. Maybe this changes your opinion. Feel free to edit your comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.